In this video we'll be discussing a little bit of transfer news, even though it's not transfer season, but a few little bits have come out today, including a Wonder Kids uh, 17 year old from Brazil, Declan Rice, Ansu Fati, etc, etc, so let's get into it. So starting off with the Brazilian 17 year old Wonder Kid, uh, Gol BR has reported Arsenal have recently made an approach to Atletico by Paranese, sorry if you can't pronounce that properly, for 17 year old striker Victor Roque, again not sure about the name, I have never really heard of him. Eddie Gaspar has been in touch with the players entourage, Gol BR also reports Arsenal sporting director Edu Gaspar has recently contacted the representatives of the 17 year old forward Victor Roque and intend to make an offer. Atletico Paranese uh, will only accept the player's 60 million euros release clause. Barcelona have already started negotiations with them. I can't really tell you too much about the player's profile to be honest because I've never ever heard of him until we've been linked with him just now so I can't tell you anything. All I know is that he's Brazilian and obviously must be very talented if they're demanding 60 million euro release clause for a 17 year old. I remember uh, Real Madrid they signed there uh, who was this thing? Endrick I think it was from Palmer of 60 million year olds, 16 year old, and so he must be brilliantly talented if they're willing to spend that much on him. Could I see us spending 60 million euros on him? I can't to be honest, especially when we've got people like Inketia, Balogun, and Balogun might even not even stay, so why would we get rid of him and sign somebody relatively unknown as well? So I can't, don't really see too much in this. Maybe one for the future, but as you can see here, Barcelona are also interested, and I could see him going to Barcelona. So maybe this guy goes to Barcelona as Hendrik went to Real Madrid, and then maybe have a little a classical there about him. Yeah, I just can't see us getting him to and I don't really think there's too much in this to be honest we probably are interested we probably like the player but 60 million euros maybe they may be able to negotiate down to 30 40 million but even that I don't see us paying and especially not the release clause I don't see us paying at all so I don't really see too much in this and we have to wait to see what happens and where he does go ev eventually next news is about Declan Rice and uh, Jacob Steinberg keep out of this new Declan Rice desire to play Champions League football means his departure from West Ham is inevitable although Chelsea inquired about Rice last summer there are doubts over whether they uh, quite fixated on him at this moment. A little screenshot from that article, uh, is it the right fit? Weiss will, Weiss will want big wages but he will also look at the awful project. Arsenal are on the rise and Ar Weiss would love to play for Mikel Arteta. Chelsea are less stable, Weiss will surely look at Mount and will question whether Chelsea will give him the right environment. It makes Arsenal the likelier destination but Chelsea must be careful. Their attempts to streamline costs make sense but they also need to recognise when it's time to pull up the stops. Mount should be the one leading Chelsea into a new era as Noble proves. Sometimes there's no, there is value in knowing a club inside out. Uh, the Mount contract situation, Vice and Mount are very good friends in real life, so if Mount doesn't end up staying at Chelsea, then maybe he may be less likely to go there, as Mount I think is one of the main reasons he wants to go there as well. So if Mount does end up leaving Chelsea, then maybe that would uh, make him likely to come to Arsenal as it says there. So this is interesting, because it also says he'd love to play under Mikel Arteta, I mean I don't blame him obviously, because I think Arteta will make him into an even better player, and I think he knows that as well, so it's just we have to wait and see until the summer to be honest, because whether Chelsea, because if we want him, then we'll put that in the money, but you know, Chelsea they can blow us out of the water by offering silly money and if they accept West Ham accept that and we uh, don't end up putting in another bid and they'll go to Chelsea but if he does prefer us then we can end up getting him as he is our number one uh, priority in the summer so I do uh, have confidence we'll get him but we have to wait until the summer there's not going to be a definitive answer until then to be honest. Next news is coming from Helena Condes about Ansu Fati. Manchester United and Arsenal contacted Mendes to inquire about Ansu Fati but no offer as of now. This camp don't rule out an exit if the situation the team doesn't improve although players desire, desire is to succeed at Barcelona and the bottom bit is just saying the same thing uh, they've contacted him but the camp does not rule out a move as well if uh, the situation can't improve. I think he's had maybe one I'm not sure about if it's two or three but um, I think at least one I'm 100% sure about. He had like a long term injury and uh, he hasn't been the same player since obviously. Uh, it does take time for a young player to come through and obviously get through these injuries because at first when he first broke through it was absolutely sensational it looked like the be next best thing but now Pedri and Gavi have kind of took over the reins and they are now the starting people of Barcelona and Ansu Fati's kind of fallen behind a bit and obviously didn't start as many games uh, as he would like to with people like Rafinha, Dembele and that playing ahead of him so maybe if the, uh, he w obviously wants to succeed at Barcelona because I think he came through the academy or he grew up in Spain and probably admire um, admires them so uh, he wouldn't uh, give up that easily but maybe in a year's time or maybe uh, a little bit later he may give up and try and move elsewhere and Arsenal have uh, contacted him and for us would he be a good option because we've got Trossard he plays he's like a winger so he plays on the left I'm not sure about the right and we have 
Martinelli and Chaucer. So again, I don't see too much in this to be honest. I see this as we are interested that he's a very good talent, but can he bring that talent back? And um, maybe he's not as fast as he once used to be, not as explosive as well. So I don't think there's too much in this, but uh, we're just monitoring him at the moment. But um, I, I, even if something does happen, I don't think he's going to give up in the summer. I do so. If something does happen, I do think it'll be like next summer, like a year's time or something, because I do think he still wants to st uh, stick it out at Barcelona and try his best to come back. But maybe in a year's time, we're talking about Ansu Fati again, as he really is considering leaving. We'll have to wait and see. Two little pieces of news here, starting off with Marcus Turam. Arsenal have been keen on France for when Marcus Turam with the 25 year old contract uh, with the Borussia Mönch and Gladbach set to expire this summer. Nicolas Arteta's Arsenal is one of the several sides interested in Marcus Turam. I've seen little bits of Marcus Turam, don't really know him too well. Obviously, 25, he will be for free this summer, so if I guess if we do want to go for him, no harm in that as he's for free. But I think this is a random report. I think there's loads of clubs interested, and I don't think he will end up going to Arsenal. Chelsea were linked to him a lot in January, actually, so wouldn't be surprised if he ends up going to Chelsea as they, they seem to sign everybody at the moment. But Arsenal, I can't see at the moment, unless, and, and at least there's a more concrete links. Second bit of news here is that Birmingham head coach wants to make Austin Trusty loan move permanent in the summer. So obviously, he's on loan uh, to Birmingham City in the at the moment in the championship, and he's doing absolutely brilliant to be honest. He's starting for them Birmingham fans, really, really like him. So he's been one of their stand up players as well. So they really do like him, and um, he was on loan for us last season obviously because we bought him last January and then sent him and he stayed there and then in the summer he just went back on loan uh, to Birmingham and then I don't think we have any plans for him unfortunately to be honest people would have liked to see him what he could do for us and they were saying very very curious to see what he could do do for us too but we have Kibuyo who we just bought Gabriel Saliba and I do think we'll buy another centre back as well and Austin Trusty he's a left centre back so no point with uh, Gabriel and Kibuyo so I can't see him being given a chance so uh, I can just see him be, being sold uh, to Birmingham so let's, let's just hope because English football has quite a lot of money at the moment so let's hope we can get maybe like a 20 25 million something that would be a good price for him so um, I do think he will go to Birmingham in the summer but we have to wait because maybe we'll give him a chance in pre-season we have to wait and see final piece of news today comes from Millsport Online and it says AC Milan revived interest in Arsenal's following Balogun going to bid his red hot form on loan at Reims in the article also says Reims French rivals Marseille and Spaniards Villarreal are also monitoring Balogun ahead of a potential summer move so obviously Arsenal still aren't 100% sure what they're going to do with him. In my mind, I think they'll give them a, him, him a pre-season. Maybe even give him a first half of the season and maybe try to find a move in January. But will his value go down by them or even go up? But I think they'll give him a pre-season and unfortunately, I do think we will sell him. Hopefully, we sell him with a buyback clause, but I do think we will sell him and I'm not sure if he will give a chance at Arsenal. Get a chance at Arsenal, rather, because of Nketiah and uh, Jesus who've been brilliant for us. But as for his um, who's interested in him, in, in him AC Milan and uh, Inter Milan has also been linked as well so the Italian clubs uh, really do like the look of him so you can see these big clubs linked to him just shows how well he's doing at um, Reims so I did a video uh, a couple of days ago about his form at Reims so you can go check that out as well but he's obviously doing amazing and so obviously got a lot of suitors he won't so if Arsenal don't want to keep him let's just say he won't be short of anybody who wants him and he will get game time wherever he goes as well so we have to wait and see until the summer what happens with him and that's it for this transfer roundup thought I'd just do a little video quickly yeah, just because there's been quite a few news about some potential transfers and outgoings over the past few days so I thought I'd do a little roundup before the Brentford game. Uh, obviously we obviously um, do play to Brentford tomorrow at home. Very tough game as I said in the preview so uh, let's hope we win and watch out for the review that will be coming later tomorrow as well after the game so um, let's hope we win that and continue on great form but as for this this video let me know in the comments uh, what your uh, predictions are for the game tomorrow as well actually but um, also about the transfer rumours. Uh, what do you think of Vice? Do you want Vice? Uh, the 17 year old? Do you know anything about him? Also Trusty would you want to keep him? Ansu Fati etc etc so uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments like subscribe and thanks for watching